welcome to another episode of Building with Potosai. Uh, I didn't even know this, but apparently we have a priest now. Right there. I believe he's a priest, because he's the purple coat guy. And now that brings our villager count to five. So I destroyed that door uh, contraption and just built some houses for him. These guys are butchers. I did look that up. That's why they have meat as trade options. And uh, I believe this is the dude that does paper, and that's the kind of trades that we're going to be looking for, for easy, for easy emerald finding, or emerald gathering, I guess. But I think for right now, we're going to work on the fountain. Alright. In place of this cobble is going to be sandstone, that way it looks... Uh, it keeps the kind of the desert theme going, and I think, I don't know if I want them to be, if I want it to stick out, because I want these to be around it like that, I feel like that's too high, so, wow, this pick is too good, Let's see what we can do. So let's say we build one like that, one like that, and then take this inner block off, like that. See that looks a lot better, I think. Let's see what it looks like fully done. There's a chance I might need to make this uh, wider as well, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously going to have to extend the, the gravel pathways a bit more just because of the sheer size that this takes up, but I wanted to get the basics down, so let's see. And I'm going to have to it's like, uh, remove some of that backspace as well, clear the sand out and stuff. Will I have enough? Hopefully. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, so this, this has like a nice little dish to it, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to tear this out. Actually, let's get some sleep before mobs start spawning. And I really want to start uh, getting all this stuff done so that I can move the villagers to their respective homes. But uh, like the whole building homes is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, one bucket and a bucket of lava. Oh, so I have two buckets. Uh, it's not enough. I can make an infinite source, I guess. Oh, I should have grabbed, uh, one second. I'm gonna grab some more. But I want this to be kind of like a, a, f a fountain that trickles. So, like, there'll be a few points on the first light tier that will allow the water to flow down into it. But the water on the bottom will be... I think I want it to be just completely stagnant water. But uh, let's grab some water from over here real quick. And I haven't done anything with the castle in terms of walls. I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back, I was kind of messing around with different designs and stuff. And, uh, like, that's what the back wall looks like. It's got these two arches and stuff. And it, yeah, I'm missing some stuff over there. But it doesn't flow well with the current design. But obviously, I, that can be changed if I changed all of the walls to something like that kind of curious what you guys think about that. Um, I'm probably going to end up just changing it back to cobble whenever I'm bored or actually want to do something like that because uh, it doesn't really matter to me. But let's get a infinite source going. Cool. Dig all this up. But we are going to put a center thing in here. So let's see where the center is. So this is the center. Let's get our sand regular sandstone out. So like that, like that, like that, and like that. And we're going to build this up. I'm not really sure how high I want to go. And of course I can't get up there now. But let's go up that high. Let's see what this looks like. Bring it out one... go all the way around in the circle. Oh. Oh. Too powerful. Yep. 
Yeah, so I think this is actually going to be like that. Um, use the slow pick. So it's actually going to be on the outside. Like so. We'll, we'll have to see how this looks, because I'm not really sure if I'm liking it. It might be a bit too wide, but uh, I'm just going to do this for the purpose of showing you guys how the water is going to act. I need to take those out when I'm done with this. Hmm. One more like that. Is that right? And one more like that. Like this and like this. Oh. At least we'll get to see what it looks like from outside. And this one right here. Yeah, so I th I'm thinking that this is going to be too big. Um, let's see if I can... So it's going to look like that. It doesn't look bad. It just, like, overall kind of just looks too big, I think. But yeah, and then I was going to go up. One, two. So I can't actually really go up that much more, can I? I guess the most I can do is here. Like that. And then see if I can take this out. Oh, dang it. This pick, man, this pick. Like that. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Maybe it's not high enough. I don't really know. I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't like it. It'll it'll be changed, but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this, and then uh, probably play play around with some designs in the creative world that we have. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it may not look like I changed much, but I think that this is how it's gonna look. Um, I don't have any food on me. I think this is how it's gonna look. <sighs> Still really don't like it. Um, but I mean, it's a little bit better. It's a lot wider. I may actually like to to put two around, make this a little bit more circular than rather than square. But uh, yeah, uh, what I did was I raised the floor up by one, and I and I made this more cert like conical, I guess. Like it has like a U shape to it now, all the way around, or like a upside down circle. Uh, like a bowl, rather. So it's more bowl-like. But, uh, realistically, this should be hitting, like, the middle of this. So there should be water flowing down this way as well. But if I do that, then it just gets too big and kind of overpowering. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. Uh, there's a good chance I might just take it all down and start from scratch. But for now, I think this looks pretty solid. And we got our walkways in, I had to fix that one, I had to take a lot of this stuff out, and then this one doesn't go anywhere yet. But, in other news, our priest, or whatever that dude with the purple coat is, is fully grown. And he is... He's offering us four redstone. It's not bad. It's, well, I'm lying, it's pretty bad. But at least I don't know I would r much rather have like the glowstone option just because glowstone is harder to get than redstone but I guess that's just how it's gonna be we'll trade with him see what kind of stuff it, it'll advance for for that actually let's do that right now so just I'll take them all for science 
Because I thought he was the dude who got paper, but clearly I am mistaken. I really need to look this stuff up, but I am not. So let's see. For science. Get some mobiles, bro. Sweet. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, sick, yeah, so... So this isn't the dude who does paper, but he does have glowstone. And, uh, we'll just do one glowstone trade, and let's see what he gets, if he gets another trade. I don't want to do with you, dude. Alright, so he didn't get another trade, but, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna let him be, but that's cool, he's the glowstone guy, so... Um... I just put all my my crap blocks away. This is just a temporary home. So, I think for the rest of today we are going to at least build one house out on our sand prairie, but I will try to smooth it out a little bit more, maybe put in some grass and stuff like that, and little pastures and I don't know. Most of that I'll probably do off camera unless I have something that I really direly need to show you guys. But yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and do that. And then uh, we'll be back. I'll show you what I've done, what I've changed, if I changed anything, stuff like that. So cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've kind of come to something that I, I like a little bit. Uh, it's still kind of the same. Uh, I just added fence all the way around, and I'm not sure, I might make this all glowstone all the way around and remove those torches, or I might just leave it like this. It does feel a little disconnected right now, but I guess that's how it's going to have to be. I'm going to leave that area, that area, unbuilt, and then I'm going to build on this area. So we're going to make our first house. I'm going to be... It's going to be like this. It's, they're only going to be one-door houses, which is fine, but... um. What I'm going to do is probably place doors underneath the the central part of the, the right here, like around the village. Um, I don't know though, because for it to count as a door, it needs to have sunlight. So I might maybe make, I don't know if you get sunlight if it's a half block or something like that, so I could open this up and do that, or use a transparent block or something like that, but I'm not really sure. So let's build this house. Let's see. Um, already messing up. They're pretty small. They're not anything special. I do. I don't like how you cannot place these, like if you're not above them. So, like this. It's just it's just super annoying, and then. I'll go try to like place them like by jumping. That one will be fine, but that one won't. So it is just it's just a pain. But let's see if I can get this done before it gets night out. That's how that looks. This this this. Get some regular wood. I hope I have enough regular wood. I'm not sure if I do. Two, three, three. One, two, three. They're basic, just simple square houses. Uh, I think it provides enough room for one villager to live in. I'm not going to have enough of this. Oh yeah, I am. Okay, good. But you guys should let me know what you think of them. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to have enough regular wood. So, and we'll just do this for now. But that's that's the general design of it. And it's gonna have a door, obviously. And the roof is gonna be, if I can get up there, it's gonna be half slabs of birch. Oop. And um, yeah, that the floor, uh, let's do that first. The floor is actually gonna be, so I'm gonna change that to like this for right now. To make the floor blend in nicely with the roof, I made it just regular birch planks. So let's do that. And we'll see how it looks against like the sand, but this does have a, a pretty good contrast with the 
like the walls and stuff like that. And I'm using glass panes. Look at that. I'm using glass panes in here. I don't know if I mentioned that. Get up here. So I'm probably not going to have enough of these, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not. I'll show you how this is going to look. So it's going to look... I need to place one where? Here and here. 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 Like this. And then in the middle, because it's a square, it can be perfectly one side, or uh, like one in the middle. Uh, like the way it lays out, there's perfectly one in the middle, if that makes sense. Like this is dead in the middle of the room, is what I'm trying to get at. But that'll be how it gets laid out. And I think it looks good. It has a. It's not too overly big. And that was like what my main concern was. So it's not too big. I'd much prefer if a few villagers lived in this because I guess it is sort of large, but in the scale of things, like, it's not too bad. But it's a little basic house, kind of like the one we have for our um, sheep facility. I kind of like them. So I'm going to build one there. And I think I'm going to take this whole side fence out and just fence it off like that around the property like that and then just build all like a house here a house in the back and another house next to this maybe clear this area up and put like a little uh wheat farm and something like you know something like that so sorry that my house designs aren't too interesting i mean you can only really build houses a few ways i do plan on leaving the major or, like I'm going to close these gates off and try to have them just roam around out there, but I will figure out a way that I can close this off. So that probably means taking this out and all sorts of stuff, but as they can't get through iron doors as long as they aren't open, so they may be able to roam around in the, the castle as well. But for, mo for right now, once I get this all figured out, they'll just be roaming around out there, and hopefully they'll just flock to their respective homes and stuff, so. Yeah, see, I don't think that, that looks kind of good. It's got a nice weird mix, and we're, and we're using the redwood, which not a lot of people use, so. I kind of like it, it gives a nice aspect to it, but. Yeah, the, the light wood, I don't know if I have torches on me. I don't. This is where, this will be where they're placed when it's done, like that. They'll just be regular torches, but the light wood and the light floor give it that really nice feel. And it's kind of warm colors on the inside so I'll probably be doing that for now build one you know build one of these on this end over here and then maybe we'll build like a bigger house over in that corner or something like a two-person house or a yeah we'll do that we'll do like a, a like an l-shaped house so that'll be pretty cool but that's really weird you s look at that one. I can do this. Is it too late? Is it too late? Alright, well. Ooh, F8. There we go. I will start laying out a plan and then start getting the wood resources and stuff like that. And I will see you guys in a, in a bit. So I got a little bit carried away. Um, I kind of built this quarter of the village already. Um, there's still a lot that needs to be done, but this is what it looks like now. I just built... The, I did that house on camera. This is the exact same house. And I made like a little small wheat farm with uh, glowstone and trapdoors to make it look like lamps. I did change the design of the house a bit. I changed it so there's two doors in each house. That way we get a little bit more boost in how many villagers we can spawn because I don't really want to mess around with like trying to do a, a door contraption here or anything but I am thinking about making like a large L shape house like around here or maybe making this into animal pens but we have like a nice little uh, gravel pathway that walks around and 
I did the the fencing all freeform, so it looks really nice from far away. Let's see if I can get up on the castle to show you guys. So it's got like a really nice, like just kind of a weird free flow shape to it. And uh, I just wanted to update you guys with how this looks now, because uh, it's gonna. Ch this isn't gonna change per se, but I am in the process of removing all of that sand, and it's just gonna continue that weird, like kind of. I don't know, spleen shape all the way around to like here. And then on that side I'm either gonna do more housing or have animal pens or depending on what I do here. I was thinking about like just making pens for the vill for the animals for the village villagers even though they don't use them and stuff like that. But uh that wheat farm isn't very efficient, it's just very basic. Uh but I'm actually probably gonna end up using it just a little bit until we get like our our actual wheat farm in the castle going but yeah it looks pretty good um, this shovel unfortunately isn't gonna break anytime soon but uh, I'm at level 27 right now and I've been killing a lot of mobs if I can get to 30 I think I'm gonna enchant another shovel that way I can like hopefully get like efficiency shovel or like something awesome but uh yeah so until i get 30 that's not gonna be a worry but uh that might be soon if i if i spend some nights out out and around the town but we'll see so just wanted to give you guys a quick update i am i got about a little bit more time left so i'm gonna clear out all of this uh and then probably lay fence down to show you guys how i want it and then we'll do another road kind of similar to this one. I'm thinking about keeping it at like maybe a slight incline. That way like the next, the start level is actually this level right here. And having all the the houses up a bit, I think it'll give it a different, instead of having everything flat, I think it'll look nice. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to get rid of all that sand and then I will be right back. I'm too impatient. Over the night, I got our 30 levels. I uh, just crafted this shovel. We're gonna head over and use the enchanter in our home base. I just wanted to show you guys that I actually needed a second tier of chest f for sand, so I don't even have all of this filled up, but that is how it's gonna stack, and there's gonna be one more on top of it if I ever get that much. So, see you guys at the enchantment table. Oh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Look what I stumbled across. It was very weird. I don't have any... I do have some torches, alright. That may prove challenging when we go to clear any more off, but there's a good chance that that's the most I'm going to clear off. Um, that shovel enchant was garbage. I'm just pretty upset with that. But obviously now I need to, uh, well I have some sandstone, but I need to put this sandstone where I want. Like that. That way I can fill it in. And for now I'm just going to leave it uh, open, I don't care that much. And I'll show you guys what I've taken off so far. Alright, that should be good. Break this. See, I'm going to have to do that for this as well. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm just going to hold off on that for right now. And I cleared, uh, I cleared most of this area out to where it's flat. I'm gonna go look up. I'm gonna go look up from the castle because I want it to be pretty much the same size. But I won't know until I look at it, and I may have to widen it out a bit in uh, that general direction because it it doesn't seem big enough there. So I might have to take more out of that little corner area. But that's what it looks like for it, for right now. I'm gonna fix that whole area up, get more of this cut out, bring this probably 
back a bit more. I'm trying to get it to look. Get out of here. Seriously? To get it look to look more uh, like freeform, but uh, we will incorporate like appropriate walkways and stuff like that too. So, so like maybe like that or something. I don't know. It's gonna. I don't. I'm not really good at terraforming to where it looks natural. I just do to what I like. And if if it was something that I didn't care about, it would be completely square. Everything would be square because this game is square based. Just oh, get, ah, dang it, guy! It just it, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, we'll we'll mess around. I'll look see how that how that's doing. Fill this crap in, and then I'll come back and talk to you guys. All right. So I really like this natural curve that's going on in this uh the sand area so I'm thinking I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring this around kinda follow it maybe bring it closer maybe branch off from here and go all the way around and then just make it a loop so I do need to cut a lot more back but I mean I got this incredibly crappy shovel that I can use up so I will probably get that done and then maybe do one more house and that'll probably be the end of the video I'm getting close to time and I need to get some stuff up for you guys so I'm gonna finish doing that and I'll see you guys in a bit. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes, finally! While I was over at this space, I took the time to head down to the zombie farm, get another 30 experience levels, and get a diamond sword enchant. I really would like a looting sword, so. Eh, uh, garbage. Absolute garbage. I wish I would just get lucky at least, like, a few times. Like, that shovel, that's pretty good. Stoked on that shovel. Other than that, junk. Uh, we're getting kind of low in diamonds. Might need to do a, a couple caving episodes soon. Um, getting some... Some gunpowder to make some respect. You know. But, um... Yeah. Alright, so I got the wood to build another house. And I think we're going to do that. I turned smooth lighting off. I believe just to see uh, what the spawns were kind of doing yeah I'm still on hard so I just want to make sure nothing's spawning in here at night but we're gonna build this house real quick three and then um, we'll end the video by releasing the villagers into their home I think that's very fitting so Um, I will be trying to do a lot more, oh that is not right, a lot more enchanting when I get the chance, so, like maybe if I head to school I'll leave my computer on and let it run, but I'm not really sure for the time, like, right now, um, it should be enough. But yeah, apparently there's changes to the way mob systems are going to work in the new update. I haven't really followed it, but from what I've heard, it's basically going to try to eliminate uh, like XP farms, things like uh, like Ender, Enderman grinders in the end, and stuff like that. So, but let's build this house real quick. Oh, I don't have doors. That's the one thing I forgot. So. I added these two. This uh, this walkway comes all the way around over here to a fence gate here. We'll uh, keep this little house here. I'll finish the the roof and the doors in a second. Grab the. Okay, so we do have a skill a uh, spider that spawned there. I'm upset with that sword. That sword is garbage. I guess I'll make some more torches. Run around real quick and uh, light everything up. Um, spiders shouldn't interact with villagers at all, but like here needs some light, there needs some light. But yeah, um, just want to let you know guys that I was going to finish this, and then I'll get, yeah, let me light some stuff up. I'll finish that house, and then we'll release these villagers onto their, their land, their, their home. 
They have so much waiting for them. They all seem to just chill in that ha in this specific one. It's kind of weird, but all right. I'll see you guys in a second. So here's the moment of truth. Will they go over that way? Do I need to put them there with minecarts? You bros are free. So let's tear down these doors. There's a there's, there's like a like a 90% chance I'm gonna have to get them over there by minecarts. So let's see if they wander. I'm destroying all your houses. Come on. Do I, uh, do I need to get some weed out for you guys? Oh, uh, do I? Oh, I did pick it up. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I just need to make sure that they can't get out anywhere. But, uh, yeah, there was no enemy spawning. Built that house. Looks good. Uh, yeah, I kind of just wish... Oh, I added this little melon farm because I actually was really, really low on food. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Melons aren't that good. I like that. Oh, the wheat farm's fully grown. Nice. I spent some time at the skeleton grinder a little bit. But, oh! Oh! How's it going, bud? Go, go, go forth to your home. Please. Don't. Don't worry about the. The creeper. He'll. he'll don't worry about him. It's alright. And I'm pretty sure that they don't, uh... Oh, you can do it, you can... No! Okay, go. They don't, um... They can't open fence gates. That was my biggest concern. Can you, can you get up here? Jesus, guy. But, um... Yeah, so... Seriously? Move. Come on. Come on, you can do it. This is your town. If I could just get everybody through here, we'd be good. So how many more do we have? Three. Our dudes. Ah, you still think these are houses. Your houses suck. Hey, bro. I guess they really like these places. But yeah, I don't think they can, if they do make an update where they can get through fence gates, then this whole, no, are you back? No, get, get, ah, get in your houses. But yeah, if they make an update, then we're going to have a problem, but I don't want to do this with mine cards. Look, it's no longer a covering. You don't want to be here. You want to go somewhere cool where there's houses that I, I built especially for you guys. Oh, it's getting night out. So I wonder if they're gonna... Oh, it looks like they're all going. Oh, oh, they're all over here. Uh, I feel like I should... Oh, oh! Ah, oh, you tried it. You tried it. Look, go, go be with your friend. Go, get over there by your friends. Come on, guy. You just see how beautiful these doors are and you really want them. Well, there's no doors. No doors for you. Come on. Oh, dude, you're stuck on the ground. I wonder if I can lead them with doors. <laughs> oh? 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 No. No. Alright, get out of here. It's my little area with you. Get out of here. Come on. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 don't go back. <sighs> I get one, lose two. I don't want to damage them. Oh, this is turning into way m bigger of a process than I wanted. Alright. Get this ready. Get these fence gates ready. I wish there was a way you could just lure them. I'll just have to trap them out here now. You're out. Oh, come on, dude. You can do it. Pushing you. No. Why do you guys want to be here? I want to place the block here, but I think I'm going to suffocate them. Come on. Come this, come over here. Yes. Yes. No. No. 
It's is it night out or what? I didn't. Yeah. So what are they even doing? Maybe I'll just destroy these doors real quick. Hopefully that helps. Oh, I can't get that door. Looks like it might have helped. Oh yes, it's helping. Oh sweet, boom. Yes. Oh, that's so weird. They just colony at the doors. You can't get through here, so let's break this door. Ah, I still can't use these doors. Dang it. So the next door is going to be right here. Will you come to it? Come on. Come on. Oh, I'll, I'll break your friend out. Well, now it really doesn't matter what you guys do because... You are outside of my. Oh, oh, he's going. All right, so let's just place. Let's just place a few doors. One right there and one right there, and hopefully they're all. They'll all just migrate there, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, it doesn't matter now that they're free of this little area. They can't get through these gates, and we can go about our business cleaning this up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.